Hi, I'm Ian. I'm a commercial photographer and I'm here in my studio, Altered Images Photography, in Melbourne, Australia. As a commercial photographer for over 35 years, I often look for little tweaks that can help to improve my workflow and productivity. Recently, while shooting a range of small beauty products, I found that I was spending way too much valuable time walking between the photo set and the computer to check the images on a colour managed screen, make adjustments and then return to the set. As someone who needs to get it right in camera, instant feedback is invaluable. So what I really needed was for the computer to be more mobile so I could easily move it closer to the set. At first I considered a more mobile desk, but these were big and bulky, and in my opinion just weren't suitable. What I needed to do was utilise the 15-inch MacBook Pro that I already owned and used for my location work. Already four years old, this is still an awesome computer and it easily handles my tethering requirements with total ease. Even when using my 150 megapixel phase one camera and its huge files. As good, however, as it is, its display leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to colour accuracy. And being only 15 inches in size doesn't offer a lot of space for all the tools I use in the Host Capture One software. What I needed was a simple system that allowed a seamless connection to my MacBook Pro. Already running the excellent 2K BenQ SW270C at home very successfully, I knew that a monitor with USB-C compatibility that supports Thunderbolt 3 is what I needed. The benefits of this are that I can connect quickly to a colour managed workflow with just one small USB-C cable. And switching between my home and studio screens will be effortless. This simple but powerful connection provides power to the laptop, sound, and a video signal to the monitor for the display. The monitor also has a couple of built-in USB ports and an SD card reader that also connect through this one cable. This method can convert your laptop into a two-screen setup, or with the addition of a mouse and keyboard, you can even leave the MacBook Pro closed and turn it on via the monitor's power button, as I do with my home setup. This system will also provide a far safer working environment in the studio, as there will be only one AC power cable required to power the entire setup. Already being a BenQ convert, for some years now, I decided the newly released SW271C was my preferred way to go. This new model is awesome and has all the features of the SW270C that I use and love at home, but with the added benefit of a higher 4K resolution. BenQ have made a considerable effort in recent years to design and produce a range of affordable monitors that are very well built, but more importantly, are specifically designed for us photographers. The PhotoView range of monitors offer all the features a photographer needs. And the big plus here is that they are very reasonably priced in particular when you compare them to monitors of similar quality from other manufacturers. So they're not only accessible to the professional, but they're now also very, very accessible to the amateur photographer who understands, like the professional, that colour management is an integral part of a good and reliable imaging workflow. The new SW271C is no exception. It's a feature-packed 27-inch screen with a high 4K resolution, which is endorsed by leading world colour organisations being Kalman verified and Pantone validated. The included viewing hood prevents unwanted stray light from hitting the screen and affecting the perception of the image colour and density. And the hot key puck ensures access to the monitor settings and modes are just a fingertip away. As with all photo view monitors, colour management is handled by hardware calibration using the bundled Palette Master Element software and a third party colorimeter such as the ever reliable X-Rite i1 Display Pro. Hardware calibration is the optimum way to control monitor colour, as it ensures greater colour accuracy than software colour management, where the signal from the computer's video card is modified to make the colour corrections. The amount of colour that a monitor can display is also a vital factor. And like all photo view monitors, the SW271C can display 99% of the Adobe colour space in 10 bits for the smoothest colour gradations and also using 14-bit lookup tables provides superior RGB colour blending with a delta E of less than two. Now what this means in layman's terms is if you are photographing in the larger colour space of Adobe RGB, the SW271C can display 99% of that colour and provide the most accurate representation of the colour contained within the original file. This representation, incidentally, is also true for those working in the smaller sRGB colour space. 
The list continues with features such as the ability to seamlessly switch between Adobe RGB, sRGB and black and white modes by the simple press of a button on the hotkey puck. Or even view two images simultaneously in different colour spaces using Gamut Duo mode. Finally, the SW271C includes uniformity technology, ensuring colour accuracy across the entire screen, so that your images will be colour accurate and look great no matter what part of the screen you're viewing them on. With the monitor now sorted, my next hurdle was to find a way to try and tie the whole system together and make it work in a way that could be easily moved around the studio and positioned as close as possible to my camera setup. Enter Kupo, a reasonably new name on the photography scene here in Australia and not one readily identified by many photographers. But to those in the know, Kupo Group is an amazing company that's taking Hollywood by storm, providing all the grip needs the photography and film industries require. And just like BenQ, at a more reasonable price point than many of their competitors, that produce products of comparable high quality. Grip is a term used in the film industry to describe all the items we use to hold everything together and everything in place, such as stands, C-stands, booms, clamps, and much more. With their extensive catalogue of products, and in discussion with the Coupo Grip representative, we were able to identify all the remaining bits and pieces that I needed to put a system together and complete the picture. I started with the base, the 2.6 metre tall 320M Junior Roller Stand with lockable caster wheels. I selected this stand as it has a load capacity of 12 kilograms and extra wide legs to ensure the system remains stable. To this I added a Visa monitor mounting kit with a super knuckle to secure the monitor to the top of the stand using the BenQ's standard Visa mount. To support the MacBook Pro, a combination of a Kupo Tethermate table was attached to the shaft of the stand using a Convi clamp with a 15cm extension and a KCP414 super grip finger, which was added to provide angle adjustment of the table. Since this collection of components works so well together as a mobile tethered workstation, Kupo's Australian distributor have decided to put them together as a kit called the Kupo 320M Tethermate Monitor Kit, or 320TMK, which will be made available through all good photographic resellers at a slightly better price than purchasing the components separately. Now with the system complete, I needed to test it out. With a small self-commissioned product shoot using a bottle of aftershave lotion that I just happened to have at hand, I began setting up the shoot. Firstly, I set up the camera and lighting and then wheeled the monitor into position, close to the camera. The benefit is now that everything is within reach and I can view the set and adjust the image on a colour managed screen all from the camera position without having to take a step. This will result in an increase in my productivity when shooting commissions of this type in the future. My immediate observation is that the colour of the BenQ SW271C is rendered beautifully and it's so sharp. Sitting directly beneath the monitor is my MacBook Pro, and even though profiled and calibrated, it becomes extremely evident at how inaccurate the colour is in comparison to the BenQ. This illustrates that not all monitors are designed equally, and for image editing, a great example of why you should be using a colour managed monitor like the BenQ SW271C for all your image editing. The USB-C connection makes it very easy to connect to a laptop, but it also has all the necessary connections to connect to a computer without USB-C or a desktop computer just as easily. The components from Kupo do an excellent job at supporting the whole system and I originally approached Kupo as I've been using their stands and booms in the studio for quite a few years now and can attest that the quality is second to none. Well, I declare my little project a complete success. I now have a colour managed workstation that can be easily moved around the studio that will make my life easier and increase my productivity for years to come. If you need a solution for tethering, the addition of the Kupo Tethermate monitor kit is a no-brainer. And Kupo Grip should also be at the top of your list for light stands, booms, clamps, or any other of your grip needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that. And if you'd like more information on any of the products that we've discussed, visit the website being displayed on the screen now. Audio Jungle.